if a, b, c, and d are positive numbers, is a over b less than c over d? So statement number one tells us that the quantity c minus a over d minus b is greater than zero. So we either have to have, to get a positive fraction, we have to have positive over positive, or we have to have negative over negative. One of those two must be true. So in other words, c must be greater than a and, very important connecting word, and d must be greater than b, or c must be less than a and d must be less than b. One of those two cases must be true. So first of all, we have no idea which of those two cases is true. And second of all, in either of the two cases, we can create numbers that make this inequality go either way. For example, let's just pick this case, and let's just say that a equals 1 and b equals 2. So a over b equals 1 half. Well, now we could pick d equals 20, which is greater than 2, and we could pick c equals either 9 or 11. And 9 over 20 would be less than a half, 11 over 20 would be greater than a half, and so we can make choices that make the inequality go either way. Because we can make the inequality go either way, it means that this statement does not give us sufficient information to determine an answer. So this statement by itself is insufficient. So forget about statement number one, move on to statement number two. We get this horrible expression involving the fraction and the fraction squared. So the first thing we're going to do is just divide by this fraction on both sides. And what we wind up with is that the fraction AD over BC is less than one. And that kind of makes sense because if you square something and it gets smaller, the thing that you're squaring must be less than one. So now multiply both sides by BC, and what we get is AD is less than BC. We'll divide both sides by B. So now we get A over B times D is less than C. Divide both sides now by D, and what we get is AB is less than CD. And this is the exact statement we are asked to verify. So it turns out that this statement, statement number two, is equivalent to this statement. And so this statement allows us to give a definitive yes answer to the question. It is sufficient. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. And the answer is B.